tell you where the fish are. Triple, triple. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. I'll tell you Bam. where the fish are. Chris Shane for Apotsky Outdoors. We're coming to you from Gainesville, Florida today, home of the Gators and also home of some big crappie. We're going to show you if you come out here today with live chartreuse, fire die minnows and tip those on jigs, you can get some huge slab crappies. Let's see how we do. Ooh, Ma, another slab. Oh, yeah. Yep. Curly tail tip with the fire die. All right. Good eating size fish. Get the net. Chris, back up a little bit, buddy. Dustin, you got hard to get this fish. Is that a bass? No, it's crappy. Holy! That's a crappy? Hit him. No way! What the? Now we're talking, man. What the? <laughs> Decent. Man, he, he hammered it. You have to let some more line out. A lot of, a lot of pull. That's so slab. Look at that. Look at that little crappie. Chartreuse fire dye minnow here in central Florida. He just hammered it. Hey y'all, this is uh, T.C. Lloyd. We're out here fishing today on Noonan's Lake. It's uh, right outside of Gainesville, Florida. We come out here, um, hanging out with the posse guys. We're we're doing, uh, we're doing some long line trolling out here. Um, we're tipping all these jigs today with the chartreuse fire die minnows. Um, we got, we've got rods we're long lining with today from 16 foot all the way, all the way down to, to eight, eight foot. We're um, just, this is a 12 footer right here. These rods were made by Jinko. Um, they're the best rods I've ever used. They got a, just a 2500 series spinning reel. Using a double jig setup, and these fish are just killing it. You can see we're catching a bunch of fish today. What I got on, we're using 16th, 32nd. I got a 16th on top. We got a 32nd on the bottom, six pound test line. You got about two feet in between them. Uh, we're trolling anywhere from 0.8 to 1.2. That's where we're going right now. Um, we're throwing these about 50, 60 foot back behind the boat. And um, they're, just, they're just crushing it. Uh, my rod holder setup I got, I got these Driftmaster rod holders. Um, they're rock solid for putting your rods in to catch to catch these fish, and uh, we having we having a pretty good time out, out, out here today. Double up, double up, double up. Doubled up in the Florida sun. As he says, that's one for the. That's good fish. What are you talking about? That's one for the pan. Yeah. Yours a pan fish? I think so. Yeah. Keep up here. Still a beautiful looking. Black crappie right there. Look at that guy. As soon as you set it down, man, he just rocketed. 
Oh, that is a good one. Nice little slab. And just look at this, some curly tail jigs tipped with some chartreuse fire dyed minnows down here in Florida. Man, these fish have just been hammering it today. Look at this, nice little slab. Beautiful colors in them. They call them specks down here, speckled, what would we call them? Speckled Spex. bird, specks, black cropping. Hey, we're hooked up again. That's not a bad one either. Too bad. Good little eight size fish. Yep. We'll, we'll, let, we'll let him go. Let's see what we got here. Good 11 inch little frying fish. What you come to Florida for, right here? Go ahead and use that whole handle. There he is. There he is. He pulled drag initially. Oh, you don't need to. First little saps. You look like Zach Brown, you know that? <laughs> First little slap, I seen him do a little, a little dance today. You know Zach's from Georgia though, not yeah, Florida. Not, not there you go. There we go, that's, that's a dance. A little bend in this rock. Right to the camera. Another mm -hmm. beautiful black crappie down here, Central Florida. Chartreuse fire dive minnows tipped on these jigs. Hey, we're getting after today, folks. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Central Florida. We're in the greater Gainesville area right now, uh, doing a little bit of crappie fishing. Now it's late in the fall, and this time of year, trolling can be best. So we trolled the entire day, probably caught about, oh, you know, 50 or so quality crappie today. And all of them came trolling jigs tipped with live chartreuse fire dye minnows. Now, these fire dye minnows, we did so because we wanted to put a bright attractant out there, something the fish hadn't seen before. And doing so was pretty easy. All we did was take a full bottle of fire dye, use the directions for the short soak on the bottle. We let them sit about 45 minutes. And as you can see, you had some bright, vibrant, exciting looking chartreuse minnows that did the trick today on crappie up to about two pounds or so. Uh, some of them may look even larger in the video, but man, did we catch some nice slaps.